Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my top five specialists in Black Ops 3. Starting off with number one, obviously, is going to be the glitch ability. This one, I think, is criminally underrated, and it's good in almost every mode because it allows you to just kind of nope out of bad situations like that. I didn't like, I thought I was going to die, I was stunned, and I can just nope right on out. Well, you can even do stuff like dodging kill streaks. Here I am shooting down UAVs, trying to be a, kind of like a hero and keep my team going and I can nope right on out of the hellstorm missile that was designed to spawn kill me and everyone else thankfully that guy just had bad aim it is also very punishing to anybody who wants to follow you to an objective or anywhere else on the map because you can just flash right behind them punch them in the back and you are set this gets people all the time for me I can't tell you how many times I jumped onto an objective where I was playing team deathmatch or I was running around with like an you know a ball or a flag or something and somebody was following me you can punish them you can make them cringe and cry and curse Vondahar and say that the glitch ability is actually glitched and terrible. You can also play very aggressively and pick up one kill and instead of trading one kill for one you can just nope right on out and take your life with you. I can do the same thing over and over again. Just rush into their spawn very aggressively and then nope on out to reposition and go and pick up somebody else. It's very very effective. Normally where you would rush in and die, like I said you just trade one for one, you don't have to do that anymore. You can rush in, pick up your one and then glitch right back back on out to safety, move somewhere else, reposition, hose them down, and keep on being a hero. Some of the other benefits of the glitch ability are that if you get stuck by a Simtex grenade and you glitch, you will get unstuck, which is very, very beneficial. It's also one of the faster charging abilities in the game. One of the things that I'll be getting to on in depth when I do cover each individual specialist is that each move has a different charge time. Each one requires a different amount of base time and each one, you know, charges differently on points and flags and all that sort of stuff. This one has a relatively low charging time which means that you can use the glitch ability very very frequently sometimes even multiple times in one life it's really not that difficult to glitch kill a couple people and then glitch again especially if you're a good player. I mean if you go on like a rampage or whatever very very effective you can also use it kind of how I was here in this clip just use it to get close to the flag to fight to be aggressive and when things get crazy glitch out let your health regen and then run back in it's like getting a second life as long as you're tactical with it my number four specialist ability or weapon is Spectre's Ripper. This thing is criminally underrated. Of all the things that I'm going to talk about today, the Ripper is by far the most underrated ability. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say that it's bad or that it's underpowered or that the other abilities are better, but this one does some things that several other specialist abilities or weapons just can't do. We'll go back with, well, I'll start with one of the things that I really like about it is that it has an instant deploy time. A lot of the weapons you have to do an animation, you have to pull out, you have to charge, you have to do something with this one is really easy the very second you click the button you go to knifing immediately you go to stabbing you go to killing there's no animation there's no deploy you just jump right into slicing and dicing so if you get close to anybody they're wrecked they're murdered this thing is like having commando pro and tack knife on steroids because you get lasers that come out of your arm that you can slice people with this is something i've been begging for in call of duty forever kind of like a uh, old school bayonet attachment or an arm kind of blade that you can just come out and stab people a Assassin's Creed with, but that's really, really cool. On top of it, unlike every other weapon ability, if you die while the Ripper is active, you don't lose any of the charge. So like, let's say you use half of your Ripper and somebody quick scopes you in the face and you get mad and you start cursing Vondahar. Well, if you check, you actually still get to keep half of your Ripper charge, which means you pick up like two more kills and it's good to go again. Every other specialist weapon in the game, as soon as you use it, you lose it. You lose the whole thing. Like if you call in your Scythe or your Annihilator, later your tempest for like a millisecond and somebody kills you it's gone and you get to start have to start from scratch you don't have to do that with the ripper you can just keep on saving it up which means that this is always active and it is surprisingly effective for people that think that they have you beaten in a close range gunfight again this one's criminally underrated probably not in hardcore but in car mo core modes this is a fantastic specialist ability before we move on to number three i wanted to show you something kind of funny i was goofing around trying to get my headsets to work because i accidentally turned them off and i'm like shooting my gun trying to see if i can oh my god there's a guy and i just started spraying and i i managed to get a double kill with literally one hand on the controller working one with my elbow while fumbling with the headsets and trying to get everything back on track but as you can see our number three specialist ability today is vision pulse i'm going to be a little bit more ability heavy until we get near to the end but this ability is god tier this is one of the ones that the pros want banned or nerfed and it is extremely effective in any mode there's no mode in the entire game core hardcore objective team deathmatch search and destroy 
whatever, where Vision Pulse is not useful. It is very, very useful. However, it is one of the slower charging abilities. The abilities tend to charge a little bit faster than like the weapons or whatever. This one's just a little bit on the slow side, and that's because it's so powerful. You can just ping people through walls, and what's useful is not only do they show up on your HUD, like they grow, they glow bright red so you can see them anywhere through walls or whatever, but they also ping on your radar and it gives you an audio cue for every single person you hit. So if I hit it and I hear bing, 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 I know that there are three people around me and I can look on the radar and see where they are and then orient myself and look and see where they're moving through walls. Super duper, colossally effective. You can see right here I'm kind of spinning around to pick them up on radar and everything else. This dominates any sort of slaying game type where, you know, conservative play is rewarded. So if you haven't noticed, I've swapped off of domination and onto Team Deathmatch for Vision Pulse. His Vision Pulse is by far the best ability or weapon or anything for Team Deathmatch. And beyond just Team Deathmatch, it is god tier for Search and Destroy. This is like first pick all the time in Search and Destroy or banned by competitive players in Search and Destroy. This is the Search and Destroy ability. This mode just this this is like this is like 11 out of 10 in Search and Destroy, which is one of the reasons it makes the list. It's also pretty godly and hardcore where you don't have a radar to where you don't always have a good indicator of where enemies are. This can be a life-saving ability, especially like if you want to wall bang somebody. This is a great perk for getting wall bangs. And if you run like FMJ in hardcore and you turn this on, you can shoot somebody through a wall once or twice and kill them. You literally have wall hacks. Like in any other video game, they would consider the Vision Pulse ability a cheat, like a wall hack. It kind of reminds me of the spectator mode from Call of Duty Ghost, but just turned on all the time. Or like those scanning UAVs from Advanced Warfare that everybody thought was so incredibly annoying or overpowered. This is a top tier ability, even though it doesn't change your movement, it doesn't warp you backwards in time, it doesn't stun people, but it gives you god tier map awareness and three different ways. It gives you the visual cues, the radar cues, and the audio cues so you know how many people to look for. And I would recommend it for literally any mode, but especially hardcore, in literally hardcore anything, search and destroy and team deathmatch. You just can't go wrong. It's so incredibly nasty and so underrated by people that like to break out their big gnarly guns. But speaking of big gnarly guns, our last two today are going to be weapons. Weapon number two is the ever so popular Annihilator. And this I think is a great clip for me to move in on because I get to kill a person who just called in their Annihilator with melee and humiliate them, but I also get to use my Annihilator to annihilate a Cerberus kill streak with just three relatively quick shots. I think they were controlling it instead of the AI. It's a bit of a mouthful to say Annihilator. You probably can't say the Annihilatrix annihilates the Annihilators that three times in a row without keeping, you know, your tongue in order. But uh, this, it's like a pocket sniper rifle. It's like a pocket slug shotgun. It murders kill streaks. It murders people. It annihilates literally anything in one shot. And the only downside to it whatsoever is that it doesn't have auto aim on consoles. On PC, you don't have auto aim anyway, so it's really easy. You can hip fire this and destroy people. You can literally snipe them all the way across any map. It's a better sniper rifle than any sniper rifle in the entire game or just up close pop people. I did want to point out though that while it kills kill streaks, for some reason it won't hit the hater. I'm trying to shoot down this hater and it just doesn't work whatsoever, which I found to be very, very strange and quite annoying. But anything else, ground-based, air-based, infantry, hardened sentry, uh, you know, whatever it is you want to, whatever it is that you want annihilated, this will annihilate. And it over-penetrates bodies, so if people bunch up or line up, you can get a couple of kills in one shot, and it's just hard to beat. It's really easy to use, it's really powerful, it does have a longer than average charge time, but so what? Once you get it, it's like guaranteeing yourself a couple of kills. The only thing I would tell you to not do with it is probably don't use it up close. Some people get some lucky melees and stuff and ruin you up close. But it's relatively simple, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Let's talk about our number one today, which is my personal favorite. Actually, it's not my favorite. Glitch is my favorite, but I respect this. I understand this, and I know how strong that is, and that is Reaper's Scythe. This is by far the strongest specialist ability or weapon in the entire game. It is the easiest to use. It has the maybe best potential as well. Like everything else you get like a couple of kills with. Like you can kill some people with the arrows. You can kill some people with the annihilator. But it takes skill. It takes a bit of timing and patience. This thing is just ridiculous. You can use it at any range in any scenario and just hold down the trigger. It's a death machine. This is a death machine but completely reskinned. You want to use it long range and hose down people past this turtle. That's totally fine. If you want to take this in close quarters combat, this thing dump trucks people 
people in close quarters combat. It has virtually no recoil and virtually no downsides other than the fact that it slows you down slightly while using it. Here's another example, like I just take this and right in people's faces, they even EMP me. I don't even have to aim. I don't even need crosshairs. I can just spray and pray and it'll take care of itself. This is ridiculously powerful. It was so powerful that I actually decided to test it on somebody that hasn't even played Black Ops 3. The scythe is so easy. In order to make a point how good this is, I'd like to introduce you to Accepted TMAC92. When was the last time you played Black Ops 3? I would say about, I played two games during the beta. So yeah, he's played two games during the beta and you've been working like 12 hours a day for like forever. So yep. when was the last time you even played an FPS except for tonight? Uh, probably Destiny a long time ago. Okay, so he is just big noob on Black Ops 3 out of FPS for ages. He is going to use Scythe for the first time, and I bet you anything, he gets at least a triple, if not a quad. Let's go ahead and find match and domination. Go for it. Okay, so you're on candid camera. Got that one. There's more. Snipper. Get the snipper. Get all of these people. On the right, on the right. Yep. Excellent. I think the other one wall ran over to Bravo, so you're good. Move forward behind this. Oh no, they're creeping around over here. Oh, she got, Ooh, you think you can challenge this sniper? Do you think you can do it? Are you man enough? Is T Mac man enough? No, oh. definitely not man enough to beat the sniper. <laughs> okay, tall dead. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it live. Let's just hose them. Screw it. You know, nobody cares if you're stunned. Just go ahead and get this person way out here. Screw them in particular. To your right, to your right. Get him, get him, get him. Look at this. Look at you go. Rush, rush, rush. We're running out of time, Taylor. The game is ending. You have to kill all these people really fast. This guy, uh, any other guy that you see that it looks, this, yeah, this one not paying attention, easy. Look at you, maxing out your streaks as a sniper, you just totally got oh. <laughs> See, but it's easy, right? Yeah, that was awesome. While I'm busy praising the scythe, I'm going to show you J-Hub's gameplay. I actually did a whole in-depth on this. This is probably the best anti-kill streak gun in the game. Like, you think the Annihilator is good at kill streaks? Look at what this does to Rolling Thunders. Look how many points J-Hub is getting just shooting these things down. That's like easily over a thousand points right there, and we've got streaks maxed out. You can use this on Cerebuses. You can shoot down UAV, counter UAV, Wraith. It, like, literally, you can challenge a sentry gun with this thing, which is bananas. And this is pretty much the only thing in the game I know that counters the Rolling Thunder other than an EMP core, and it is ludicrously powerful. This is the specialist of choice. Professional players love this thing. They pick this all the time because, unlike a lot of the other ones, you can get, like, 20 kills with this it only takes three bullets and it shoots god only knows how many hundred before you run out of juice for it if you position yourself well like i was talking earlier about how this is easy to use right but it also kind of has a high skill cap because if you're patient with you if you aim it well if you don't spam it too much especially if your enemies bunch up or get back in the back of the spawn i'm sure you've seen a bunch of montages like this you could probably realistically pick up like 10 to 15 kills with the scythe if the enemies were going to cooperate with you if you know the treyarch gods were in your favor and von loved you and gave you bad enemy spawns today it's not that hard to do you want to take you want to get like an omega kill you want your fury killer you just take the scythe to ground war and get close to the enemy spawn and you can just hose them all you can slaughter them they're like <laughs> literally lambs to the slaughter they can't do anything any range see i just murder people close range right there look at these i'm just gonna head glitch right here anybody that comes over that even if they have like a sniper rifle they're gonna get slaughtered look it it's super easy and back to close range again Pretty much no penalties whatsoever. And guys, that is my top five specialist abilities and weapons. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you found it a little bit fun. These are opinions, of course, but these are the ones I would recommend using. Guys, that is all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode was on the HBK30, and the next episode is going to be on the ICR1. Drifter out.